But what I didn't understand about the New York Times is that the way they got out their content wasn't just by endlessly sending tens of thousands of prompts, but they were accused by OpenAI of sort of basically hacking their system. But what they did was what my listener pointed out to me is something I've been able to do with ChatGPT if I'm using what's called an API where it connects. I can set the temperature. So for ChatGPT, the temperature ranges from zero to two. For Claude, it's zero to one. And you set the temperature. So the lower the temperature, the more likely you're going to get what you're asking for comes out. In other words, if I take and copy and paste from the New York Times a piece and I say, is that the temperature really low? Basically, I'm making it say, hey, can you sort of copy this piece? Which you can't actually do, but it'll pull out similarities. And as you see on the screen, this is like 80% of what was output is what came from the New York Times article. And by just tweaking this setting, which is called a randomizer, randomness is part of what's built into AI. Turn it off. And in these cases, at least, they were able to find and create the content. Back to the U.S. Copyright Office saying it's a roulette wheel because unless you can create what you want, there's no copyright. So we found that Petronas was able to get copyrightable written content out of ChatGPT 44% of the time in an early test. Then the New York Times shows that it may actually be able to create this. And by using a few settings, it's really not that hard to get at least written content out. But what about visual evidence? We now get text out. Has anybody been able to show that they can get images out that are copyrightable? Well, of course, in this article you're looking at, generative AI has a visual plagiarism problem. So what you're seeing is he was able to create Iron Man, The Simpsons, Dune, Darth Vader in Star Wars, all these characters. And it makes sense. Like, how could you not get Yoda? out of mid-journey, right? It's become almost a pattern that's imprinted. So how do you pull these out? These are all major copyrightable content. So this is showing us that AI isn't just magical creativity machines. There might even be something in there that we can find that maybe our copyrightable content does exist. At least we've been able to put it out as writing. We've been able to put it out as major, iconic cartoon and movie figures. We've been able to find it in a legal database and we're able to remove it. So all the idea of a black box doesn't apply, doesn't. It? It's almost like Arthur Clarke used to say that magic is science you haven't figured out yet. I'm paraphrasing him. We are figuring this out and AI's magic maybe isn't so magic and maybe that's a bit of a bluff. So we just sort of leave them alone and give them all our copyrightable content.